Want to know what an equity multiple is in real estate investing and how to use it for your next real estate deal? Well, stick around because we're going to go over exactly what an equity multiple is in real estate investing and how you can actually use it in Excel for your next deal. For first dibs on all new real estate financial modeling and career training videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to make sure you're notified every time we release a new video. Now, if you're not sure what an equity multiple is, how to calculate it, or what cash flows to actually include in your equity multiple calculation, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to calculate an equity multiple and how to use it in your next real estate deal analysis. Now, I've taught over 10,000 students real estate financial modeling and deal analysis so they can land better jobs and do more deals. So if you're looking to advance your real estate investment career, you're in the right place. So let's start by defining what an equity multiple actually is. So the equity multiple is the sum of all of the positive cash flows in a real estate investment deal divided by the absolute value of all negative cash flows in a real estate investment deal. So essentially all we're doing is calculating the multiplication of the equity investment of the real estate investor and how many times over that real estate investor makes their equity contribution. So let's jump into Excel, work through an example of this and calculate this together. All right, so now we're in Excel and what we have here is a 10 year analysis of a sample real estate investment deal. So we have our cash flows at acquisition of negative $10 million. So our cash outflow when we buy the property is $10 million. And then we have cash flows every single year that grow by 3% per year all the way until we get to year 10 where we assume that we sell the property. So what we need to do is calculate what that equity multiple is going to be for this project. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to my equity multiple cell and I need to use only one function, but I need to use that function twice. Because remember, what we wanna do is take the sum of all positive values or all positive cash flows and divide that by the absolute value of all negative cash flows, which are really equity investments. So to build out this formula, what I'm gonna do is start with a sum if function. So the sum if function adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria. So if I set up my sum if function, the first thing Excel is going to ask me for is a range. Now my range is going to be all of my cash flows because that's what I'm testing to test if these are positive or negative. So I'm going to highlight my entire range and then I'm going to tell Excel my criteria. So my first criteria is going to be if these values are greater than zero. And to do that, I need to add the greater than sign in quotation marks and I need to add an ampersand in order for Excel to recognize this formula. Then my sum range, so what I need to sum, I wanna sum all of the values that are greater than zero, I wanna take that entire sum range again. So now when I close my parentheses, what I'm doing is essentially getting Excel to add all of my positive cash flows throughout the entire analysis and we're gonna leave out obviously that $10 million because that's a negative number. But now what I need to do is divide that number, divide all of those positive cash flows by all of our equity investments. So what I can do is divide this by a negative this time and use that same sum if function. So the sum if function is now going to take that same range, so B2 all the way out to L2. The criteria this time is going to be less than zero because we want to take all values that are less than zero or negative numbers. And then that sum range is going to be the acquisition all the way through year 10 again. And I'll close my parentheses. And now if I hit enter, what you'll see is that my equity multiple is 2.43x. So that means from that initial $10 million equity investment, we've made 2.43 times that. And you can see how this works if we add this all up. So if we take the sum, of all of these values from year one all the way out through year 10, close our parentheses and hit enter, we have $24,305,000. So you can see that's 2.43 times that initial $10 million equity investment. So that's your equity multiple and that's how you calculate it in Excel. 
All right, so now you know exactly how to calculate the equity multiple, but what are the other real estate investment return metrics that you need in order to analyze a deal? And how do you actually build out those cash flows in order to analyze a new real estate investment opportunity? Well, to help out with that, I created a three-part real estate financial modeling crash course, and you can actually grab that for free in the link in the description below. So if you're looking to take your real estate financial modeling and deal analysis skill set to the next level, I'd love to have you join us. Now, if you like this video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this with anyone who might find this information helpful. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next video.